Hello friends, um, I have been bragging about my emergency kit on Facebook and I had at least one person ask me to uh, do a video of all of my emergency supplies. So I'm going to do that um, and if you want to ask questions on this blog I can try to point you to specific products. So this is these two bins are my main emergency supplies and then this is just some other pieces of it um, and then this is my my cat emergency supplies um, and then these two things and lastly that backpack and the red case so I guess I'm gonna start uh, okay, I'll start here. This blue water container, that is a five gallon water container. I would not take that with me if I evacuated, but it will hold five gallons of uh, clean water if I stay in place. This is a very heavy duty cooler. It's an igloo cooler and it will keep ice from freezing for, if I can get it open, <laughs> for five days. So without having to replace the ice, I have ice packs in my freezer so that I don't have to run out and get ice when I want to fill this. So the nice thing about this is that it's pretty heavy duty and you could probably sit on it so it can be used as a seat and also a table and it has two um, drink holders on it. And oh, and it also has a handle and it has wheels. So if you stop at a hotel, it's easy to bring it in. Um, now I'm going to go back over here. Um, I'll explain this later. Okay, so let's just start going through this bin. Okay, so I have four of these. Um, they are emergency solar lighting. So what happens with these is you blow them up they're inflatable and they probably won't work now because oh <laughs> look at that they will so let's see if i can do this hold on a moment okay so it blows up and then you can unsnap this and hang it from something. But you don't have to, you can just sit it on something. I have four of these. Okay, they're amazing. And you can just, you can, oh, so you can turn them to different brightnesses and then there's a flashing. Okay. So these are awesome. And then you just let the air out of it and you kind of twist it. And also this company, um, it might have twisted it the wrong way. This company um, helps provide lighting for, I didn't do this right, I'm only using one hand. This company helps provide lighting for countries that don't have electricity, so it's pretty awesome. Okay, so I have four of those, right? Four Lumates. Luminates. Okay, this is a pair of travel slippers from L.L. Bean that I have had forever. I love these, they're really comfy. Um, let's see if I can get them out. Okay, so I'll show you these awesome L.L. Bean slippers they have um, it's like suede on the bottom, so they're, they don't, um, slip. And they're just very comfy, and you know, it's just one of those little things when you're away from home, and especially if it's kind of a, you know, traumatic experience, or you're, you know, you don't want to be away from home, those are nice to have. 
Okay, um, the next thing is this Eagle Creek um, pack towel. It's a pretty big pack towel. Pack towels are thin. Um, so this is a very big towel, but it doesn't take up a ton of space. And um, it's nice if you get soaking wet or if you maybe go to a gym, uh, get a day pass to a gym to take a shower, then you've got a towel. Um, this is, I'm going to put these down here, for Lumades. Um, this is my laundry kit that I take to Europe with me when I go. Uh, this is a stopper for the sink. Some Tide um, washer clothes in the sink packets and a little clothesline that you just so this is really only good for like washing underwear because that's the one thing that after you run out of it you kind of need to have it so you can just kind of stick the edge of your underwear into these little slots and it just hangs down and so you just find somewhere to hang these loops over you know in a bathroom somewhere or something like that uh, just a little packet of um Kleenex. Uh, this is my battery operated plug-in or wind-up radio. So it has a weather radio station on it and it has an antenna. Uh, this is the crank. You just crank it for like a minute and it'll give you a couple minutes of, um, of radio. I'm pretty sure, yeah. I bought the um, plug-in for it, so that's that. This is one of the most valuable things in here. It is a very powerful solar phone charger. It has three solar panels on it. It's got the instructions, and unlike some solar chargers. It uses an actual USB plug, so you don't have to mess around with um, different converters. And it'll, it'll charge two phones at the same time. It goes pretty quickly. Uh, so that was a really good investment. I have tested it out. Um, let's see, I have this. Um, Hopefully it's working at its maximum. Uh, so this is great to use to read or anything like that. It runs on, I think, oh yeah, four D size batteries. So it's got a handle. This is a Coleman. Uh, and then I just have some random things. I have some nylon rope. You never know when you're gonna need that. I have some masks that could be used. My AC just came on, so it's gonna get a little noise. These could be used, I guess, if, I don't know, there was a chemical spill, or if there was a lot of dust, I don't know. I just have them. I thought they might be helpful. I have a waterproof case with matches. They're probably waterproof matches. I've had them a while, so. Um, but you could just get the case and put wooden matches, and there's a flint on the bottom. And my cat, she will also get packed, but not in one of these. And then I just have some garbage bags, uh, partially for my cat, <laughs> for when she does her business, if I need to throw it away. Um, I have soap. I have a small thing of dish detergent. Um, I have Neosporin, which I think I forgot I had because I just got another one. I have some plastic cups. Um, I have a tiny survival guide. I think I got that when I took the hunter safety course. I have $100 in cash, which I really should put another $100 in there because $100 isn't much. And the other thing I did was I got small bills because if you're going to a store to try to buy something in cash and there's no electricity, they might not have change, which means you would probably end up giving them a 20 for something that costs $5 and you wouldn't get any change. Um, 
Let's see, I probably don't need these anymore. Uh, or need them, period. This is a big thing of um, tea lights. I don't have a tea light holder in here, though. So I need to kind of rethink that, those tea lights. It seemed like a good idea, but I do have a big flashlight, and I have that other light, and then I have the solar lights. So I probably don't need those tea lights. This is another, I think, I think I got this free. I think that's why I have this. It's another waterproof um, uh, case for matches. There's a mirror, a signaling mirror on the inside of it. And there's a compass uh, on it. And there is a flint on it as well, and a whistle, which actually this would be great. Um, huh. This would be great if you're trapped in floodwaters. I think I'm gonna move this to another part of my um, emergency kit because this is something uh, that I might want on hand if I had to abandon everything else. So I'm gonna put that down there for now. Um, I do have an army regulation compass as well, but you know, I really have no idea how to use it. So, uh, I'm gonna kind of reconsider the, that space in my in my thing as well. Uh, and then I have this flashlight, which I know this looks obscene, ha ha ha, but it actually, you can kind of see when I move it that it lights up, but you have to shake it for a while. And then it, the kinetic energy, oh, there it is. The kinetic energy turns it into electricity, but that's kind of a pain. So I'm gonna sort of rethink that as well. I don't, I probably need to get some more batteries. I don't have a lot of batteries for these flashlights, like D batteries for my, see this is a good exercise for me, D batteries for my lantern and for my mag light. Uh, so this thing is just, I mean it's great, but are you really gonna sit there and shake this fucking thing? I don't know. Anyway, I'm putting that in my navy pile. And then I have, whoops, ooh this one's dead. See, there you go. See, isn't this good? So I have this little light that is um, a bunch of LED lights, but it is dead. So I'm going to replace the batteries in that. I have a little thing of duct tape. And then I have some bags, like this has sanitary products in it. It's got there's some random stuff. Oops. Oh, there's a poncho in there, that's cool. And some just napkins. Oh, and um, some snap lights. I have a couple snap lights. Um, let's see. Oh, I have this, which actually I should move. It's kind of sticky. I should move this to my sort of last resort bag. It's a knife. You never know when you might need that. Um, so, yeah. Okay, what else? I just have a notebook. Oh, and then I have a book, which <laughs> a preparation for life after grid crash. Probably won't have time to utilize that. I have a toothbrush, so just some random a bottle opener so I can get drunk. Oh, this is very important for the ladies. This is, it's called, very uninspiring name, the letter P and then style. So P style, it actually lets a woman P standing up. And I did test this out in the shower and I have to tell you that it works pretty damn well. So. Uh, as far as number one goes, this is a good little thing to have in an emergency. Uh, where the sanit either the sanitary conditions are questionable or there just are no sanitary facilities. Okay, so that's pretty much what's in this first bin. Okay, and then also I just have some like, so I have some emergency, this is vitamin C, um, packets that you put in water because there's probably gonna be all sorts of stuff going around and this can keep your immune system up. And then just a little thing of, a little travel toothpaste, some laxative, I need that, and some antacid tablets. All right, so that's, that leaves me a lot of space in there actually, which is great. So the other things I have are um, water purification tablets and then water preservation tablets, um, which, let's see, 
it can make it so you can store water for up to five years and it won't go bad or whatever water does, I guess, grow algae. So I have those. Uh, I have a water filter, but this is just another, you know, I try to, I try to have several solutions to the same problem in case one of them doesn't work. So I have this. Uh, then also, I have this. So this is a converter so that I could plug my laptop into my car with this. Oh, it also has two USB chargers. So obviously you don't want to run your car battery down, but your laptop doesn't take a lot of electricity. And if you keep starting your car and driving around so that the inverter charges up the battery, you should be good. I mean, these are like, so, so a lot of this stuff is useful if I stay here and there's no electricity and stuff. And a lot of it is useful if I leave. Uh, okay. So there's that. So this is my second emergency bin. So I have a first aid kit. I already apparently had one pair of gloves and I just bought two more. These are, these are actually really good. I forgot I had these. Um, these are very strong work gloves. So um, as one of my friends said, you don't want to you don't want to get get any cuts on your hands, and if you have cuts on your hands, you don't want to get them wet. So I bought these very nice gloves, uh, which have leather on the hands. So some of these, you know, are just these would be good to like help clean up, to move things, to or if you if you're driving along the road and you have to move a branch or a bunch of branches, and you don't want to you know, risk cutting yourself or anything like that. And then I got this one pair that has kind of a rubber, very grippy soles. And these would be good for picking things up that are wet, you know, and not getting your hand wet. Obviously you can't just stick your hand in water because the backside is just this mesh stuff, but these seem pretty cool. So I have three very good pairs of gloves and I could lend one to someone if they needed to borrow one. This is a um, collapsible, like, whoops, dish pan. Let's see. So this could be good for a couple different things. It could be good for washing a few dishes. You could just put water in it and wash the dishes. But also I was thinking today that it would be good for collecting rainwater that I could then filter. But I could just sit this outdoors because Rainwater is going to be the cleanest water. You don't really want to try to filter storm water because it's full of chemicals, um, which no filter is going to filter out chemicals. They're going to filter out um, viruses. Um, they're going to filter out um, heavy metals. They're going to filter out, um, what's the other one? Like protozoa and tiny um, creatures that you don't want to into your body. So, yeah, this is, I like this because it collapses not super easily, but it does collapse, and so, there you go. So it's basically flat, and it will pack easily. I have a roll of paper towels. I have a roll of toilet paper. Uh, I have these two, I have two of these, um, stainless steel food food containers so if I had to go to a hotel or whatever and I had leftovers I could store these store it in these or I could even I don't know bring food these can go in the cooler you know so I have two of those um, I have four clean canteen stainless steel cup and you can actually use these at parties because um, they have these little tabs on them that are each a different color to tell your beers apart at parties but I got these to have something to drink out of you can drink water out of them or whatnot some of the
this is overkill, but I'm just like, you know, if I, I'm not really a camper either, but if I went on like a road trip, this stuff would be great. Um, some of it I already had, like these are two plastic wine cups. <laughs> That's very important when you're feeling, when your world is coming crashing down around you. Uh, so I already had these, I just stuck them in here. They're wine glasses for a picnic. You just screw them together. I have two of those. And then they collapse and go in this container, this uh, bag. Okay. Then I have this uh, very high quality, pretty expensive BioLite camp stove. And what is the reason I got this one is because it runs on twigs. So uh, you don't need fuel. You can just find some dry twigs. So the other thing, oh, let's see, actually, this isn't the stove. Yes, it's the stove. Okay, so actually the stove is inside this and I bought this separately. This is a kettle to go on the stove. So you just fill this with water and once it's done cooking, boiling, you just pour it out of the spout. So they're just really high quality. And again, this company donates, I'm pretty sure they donate stoves to underdeveloped countries. So that's, I mean, you can really only hope to like boil water, you know, when you're so you could make soup, you could make tea, coffee, um, and anything else that just needs to be heated up like that can be heated up in a pot. Uh, I just have some extra, a couple extra bags in case I need them. Uh, I have a washcloth and a sponge. Oh, I do have some extra D batteries, but I think I only have four. I should probably get another one. I have more waterproof matches. Um, I have a corkscrew. Apparently I thought that was important. Um, let's see. Then I have, this goes for the stove as well. Oh, there we go. So this can boil a very small amount of water. And then inside there are two plastic cups to drink out of. So if you wanted to do coffee or tea, this would probably be a good little thing to just do a little amount. Um, and these could be used as bowls too, I guess. Oops, let's see. Oh, there we go. Okay. So then I have some Reynolds wrap. Oh, I have a, I have an umbrella. I have a manual can opener. And then I have, I thought I had four of these, but I'm only seeing two. I have two sets of bamboo silverware, a fork, a knife, and a spoon. The knife's not going to really do much. And in case I feel like making sushi when I'm fleeing a hurricane, there are also chopsticks. Um, okay, and then I have two big um, tins, sealed tins of basically freeze-dried food that you just add boiling water to. This one is Louisiana red beans and rice because that sounded like it had a lot of protein. And this one is chana masala, an Indian curry dish with chickpeas and chilies over rice. So this is a lot of, this is, says makes 20 servings. So that's 40 servings of food. Um, that I would have in an emergency. So 40, I mean, you probably only wanna eat two a day. So that's like 20 days of food for me. I also expect that I would have some food in my refrigerator and in my cupboards. So, you know, possibly if I stretched it out, I would have a month's worth of food. Um, okay, so that is 
the second bin. So that's the majority of my actual emergency stuff. Um, which I really think is quite a lot for just these two bins. So now I'm going to, okay, so let's see. So I have two of these. Uh, <laughs> these I got at the Asian grocery store. They had prawn crackers in them. I love it because it's a metal, it's a metal tin and then it has this cover. So one of them I keep twigs and leaves in to start my stove. So I go out when it's dry and I get dry leaves and twigs. I actually have this out because I need to get some more because I used up most of the ones I had testing out the stove. So the other one uh, I am going to keep empty and use for cleaning out my cat's litter box if I'm on the road because I might not have, I don't, I guess I could just throw it outside, but I still would need to clean out the actual litter box so I could scoop it into the tin and then when I had a place to dispose of it or I was at a place where I could throw it outside, I would do that. And her litter is made of wheat. It's just made of wheat, it's flushable. And so it won't harm the environment if I just throw it outdoors. Uh, okay, uh, I got also, Ziploc makes giant Ziploc bags. So I got three different sizes of these. And these would be great, like, if I end up having to wade through water, which hopefully I don't, because that's usually when you die. Um, but I could put my laptop and paperwork in one of these Ziploc bags and then put it in a bag. So if I had to wade through water with like a bag on my back, maybe, come on. If I had to wade through water with a bag on my back, the stuff in it would not get harmed. So, and also Libby has a tendency when she's nervous to pee on towels, cause I usually put a towel in her carrier. So if she peed on a towel, I could put it in one of these so my whole car wouldn't smell like ammonia. Um, then this is, this is kind of my office bag, so um, my computer and um, all that kind of stuff would go in here. Um, the, so, okay, so what needs to go in my car are these two bins, my suitcase, which is about a 24 inch, 22 or 24 inch suitcase. And then I also have, let's see, I can move this up here now. So the only other big thing I have is this cooler. And if I decide to splice these videos together, you've already seen this cooler, but this is an igloo cooler. It says do not sit on top, but I would probably try to use it as a seat if I had to. Uh, it's on wheels and it has a handle that comes up. So if you went to a hotel or something, you could take this in with you. And this cooler will keep ice cold for five days without replacing the ice. I'm not, I'm gonna try not to use ice because that's something you have to stop at a store for and that just slows you down. So I have ice packs in my freezer. So the only things that would need to go in my car, really the big things are this cooler, the two bins and my suitcase. Um, my folding bicycle would also go in, but that's pretty skinny. So, um, okay, so here's, I don't know if anyone cares about my cat supplies, but so I have a small thing of litter for her um, that I just, I don't open. I just keep it that way. I bought this bag with cats on it. And so this is just the strap to her carrier. I, I went to Goodwill and bought some towels because she doesn't need anything fancy. So I bought these towels that I could um, have for her to lay on and be comfy. I bought a bunch, you know, I bought four of them so that if she peed on one, uh, I would have more. I have more of these plastic bags, uh, just some random plastic bags, um, a piece of string. I have extra treats for her. And I also, oh, <laughs> okay, so, so I bought special food, <laughs> uh, especially if I have to lure her in or out of someplace. Um, I thought it'd be good to have that special food. She doesn't ever get that kind of food. So there's dry food in here. And then I also bought this calming spray. 
Um, it's a pheromone spray and it's supposed to, if you spray it like in their carrier or something like that, it's supposed to calm them down. And I have some unopened toys in here as well. And looks like I also bought some Clorox bleach spray so that if she sprays in my car or just pees somewhere and I want to try to get the smell out, um, that I'll have that. So that's, that's Libby's stuff. And then, okay, so then I want to, okay, so then I want to have different layers of evacuation supplies. So if I have to ditch my suitcase and if I have to ditch all of this other stuff, I would keep two things. Um, this is my, and maybe I need to adjust this now. Let me adjust the camera. Okay. Okay. Put these back. Okay, so this is my five day. This is my five day suitcase. My five day trip suitcase, okay? I got this this year. If you're following my blog, you've seen my whole five day packing um, a guide. So I can have, especially if it's warm, which it will be if we have a hurricane. So I can pack five days worth of warm weather, warm weather travel gear in here. Um, so I might not even need, this is just, I might though, this is a tote bag that folds up flat. So I might need that for something, but this is a packable rain jacket. Got one of these bags in here. Um, would be travel size toiletries, right? Um, a towel and a washcloth. I probably wouldn't need this hat because I have one in my other. I would, if I had this, I would keep my purse backpack um, because it's small and it has one of these in it. And, and if I had to go smaller than this, I would then just keep my purse backpack, which I'll talk about in a minute. Um, so I have a flashlight in here. Um, I have this, which is kind of an around the neck wallet. So I think my passport's still in there. So, you know, I would, I might go through this first and tear down a few things that might not need to be in here. Um, I have a tiny bit of toilet paper, which is, um, because some countries aren't big on toilet paper. Also, either, well, I would probably put them both in here. So my... Chromebook and my laptop. There's a sleeve for my laptop, and then maybe I would try to shove my Chromebook here on top um, in this. So I would have this, which I could put like maybe one extra pair of pants, some t shirts, um, an extra bra, some underwear, maybe one extra pair of shoes could go in here. I have my most of my shoes are very flat, so they smush down. So you know, as before I evacuated, I would probably pack this in, uh, in the case where I had to abandon everything else other than my cat, this, and my purse backpack. Okay, so then my purse backpack. So this is my purse backpack. Oh, actually, I totally forgot. Hold on. Before I do this, I totally forgot. I just bought a few things today that are going in my... Let me find that. Okay. So, before I get to that, um, I did go to a local... A local um, outdoor store, which is fabulous, by the way. If you live in St. Pete and have never been to Bill Jackson's, holy moly. Kind of like a candy store in there. Okay, so I only got two things that are going in my emergency kit. One is a head, um, uh, 
mosquito net. Um, because if there's a lot of water poured here, then it will be like a mosquito's heaven. So uh, I got this to go over my hat. It's just a little mosquito net to keep mosquitoes off you. So that's going to go in there. And then this super badass, um, it's a Grail, G-R-A-Y-L, and it is a really badass water purifier. You just put water like up to here, there's a line on it somewhere, and then you push the filter down and you can just drink right out of it. It's, it filters out um, viruses, bacteria, which is the word I was trying to think of earlier, and protozoan cysts, it filters particulates. Oh, this actually says it filters chemicals. So this thing is super badass, okay? This is 60 bucks, which is so worth it. And it'll filter, let's see, how many gallons? Uh, let's see, it says, oh, 40 gallons. So, you know, you're only gonna use it in emergencies, so that should last a long time, but I did get an extra filter just in case. So I'm super happy. So the nice thing about this water filter is it will fit in the water I have two I actually have two pockets on this on the outside and that filter will fit in one of them right now I have an umbrella in the other one but I'm thinking if I'm down to just this bag I am probably not going to need an umbrella okay we're going to be in dire straits so I might actually well if I've filled a water bottle if I have a chance to fill a water bottle with clean water that I already have I would probably put that in the other side because actually that would be great now that I think of it because I could filter a I could run this filter, then pour the water in my other water bottle, and then I would have twice as much, and then I could filter another thing of water with the filter, and then I'd have twice as much water, because my cat, it, so in all of this, if I'm down to this, I still have the cat, okay? So the cat will need water as well. So if I'm super desperate, and I am down to just this bag, I've got the water bottles, okay, that I just talked about. I've got everything in a plastic, in a plastic thing, okay? I've got my, my migraine medicine, okay, that I always have with me. I've got my hat, which I really need if it gets sunny. I've got, you know, my, my identification. I've got my sunglasses. I've got, I don't know, this little bag if I need it. Um, I've got cat food, right? Um, so I need to actually think this through because now I'm like, I wouldn't have thought of cat food that I needed in there before. So also in here, I will have this, which is a completely waterproof, probably unbreakable container. Okay. So in this container will fit my cell phone, a 256 gig Thumb drive, which will have the entire contents of my laptop, which will, I will have abandoned by now. Uh, so that'll be in here. Um, I think I said my passport, my ID. So um, I'll probably have two thumb drives because I'll want two backups. One of them will be not as many things backed up and one will be everything. I always worry that one of them will fail, but whatever pieces of my life that I can fit in here, um, I will, that I definitely don't want to get wet and I will put that in there. So probably my car keys. So probably last, last resort is I ditch this bag and I somehow hold on to this. Um, there's a pocket in Libby's. I tried to think about that because at that point it's going to be hard to have my cat with me. But so I want to try to break it down to these different levels. Um, uh, you know, because the situation may change. So I kind of want to really think about that and be prepared for, for that. So anyway, I think I showed you everything. Oh, I also just wanted to, uh, so I have water. I have two gallons of water in my fridge and I'm, I'm going to get two more. So I'll have four gallons of water, which isn't a ton. Um, but if I stay here, I'll also have my five gallon container. Um, oh, I'm also buying a life hammer, which, 
Because now that I've seen, you know, you, cars get swept away and people get trapped in them. And I guess the reason they get trapped, one of the reasons is because they can't open the windows because of the pressure. So I'm going to get one of those life hammers that'll break your car window. Um, I'm also going to get a harness for my cat because it would probably be easier eventually if I had to ditch her carrier um, or if I just had to take her somewhere and didn't want her to just roam around. So that requires some training. I understand that. Um, and then, you know, I would just grab her food dishes and all of her stuff if I was going in the car. Um, you know, as much food as I could from my refrigerator, I would put in the cooler. Uh, maybe grab a few books, my toiletries, um, you know, any supplements that I'm taking, any medications that I'm taking, my mag light. I have a powerful mag light. Um, raincoat, umbrella, any special like jewelry that I have. I would grab my water bottles, um, my my coffee mug. Um, and if I was planning to head north possibly to visit my relatives, um, I would take a winter coat and I would take my folding bicycle and I have a few supplies for that, my helmet. Um, Let's see, I think that's about it. So, as you can see, I've thought about this a lot. As I, I've told some people on Facebook, I have anxiety, so I'm an over-preparer, but I like, I'm okay with that about myself. You just have to, <laughs> the key is you have to know when to stop. So, um, I have a few things left to order on Amazon that I mentioned, and then I'm gonna stop, because I have like more supplies than almost anyone in the world. So, um, I have my list, this list, it's called bug out supplies. So all I'm gonna do if I have to leave is look at this list and put all of this stuff in my car, which I, I know it will all fit. And and that's it. You know, I just, there's nothing else I can do. I just try to be as prepared as possible and then the rest is up to the universe. So anyway, I hope some people found this interesting. <laughs> Thanks.